the BM-27 A9 P-140 Uragan, Hurricane, is a large, multi-wheeled self-propelled rocket launcher design consisting of an enclosed crew cab, launcher installation, and eight-wheeled heavy-duty chassis. The Soviet Union relied heavily on the inherent firepower of rocket projectors throughout World War II, through their heavy use of Katyusha systems, in staving off defeat at the hands of Hitler's Germany, and inevitably carried this tactical doctrine into the Cold War years against the West. Rocket projectors held the uncanny ability to provide area suppression while delivering powerful psychological effects on enemy troops unlucky enough to be found within its reach. Such rocket systems could saturate a target area ahead of the main advancing force made up of combat tanks, armored vehicles, and infantry elements. Developed in the 1970s, the BM-27 was formally inducted into Red Army service in the latter portion of the decade. The large 8x8-wheeled vehicle mounted no fewer than 16x220mm rockets, which it could launch at targets some 22 miles away. The chassis was nothing more than a modified development of the ZL-135 series 8x8-wheel truck and completed with an armored cab for the crew. The massive vehicle was powered by a pair of gasoline-fueled engines installed in a side-by-side -side arrangement. Each wheel, therefore, drove the wheels along its respective side of the chassis allowing for full 8x8 support. The wheels were arranged in a rather unique way with the front and rear axles set well apart from the inner second and third axles. Consequently, only the front and rear axles became steerable in the design. The BM-27 system maintained an operation road range of up to 311 miles, less so when traversing over uneven terrain over long distances. Despite its Cold War origins, the BM-27 is still in use today. The BM-27 is typically crewed by six personnel including the vehicle commander and dedicated driver. The crew cab is fully enclosed and provides standard nuclear, biological and chemical NBC, protection for its occupants. This allows the crew to be relatively protected from its own rockets during launch and affords protection from enemy fire, or applicable incoming NBC threats. While the vehicle is large and weighs in excess of 44,000 pounds, it is designed for quick setup and takedown when it comes to firing. Recoil struts are lowered in preparation of firing and help to absorb the violent blowback inherent in the large rockets exiting their launch tubes at speed. A 16-shot payload can be emptied from the launch tubes within 20 seconds after launch while a specialized version of the ZL-135 8-wheeled vehicle designated as the 9T452, appearing very similar to the BM-27 without its rocket launching mount, is then used to reload fresh rockets into the reusable launch tubes. Targeting is accomplished through a basic sighting device that allows only for indirect fire. BM-27s are typically painted over in the standard Soviet, Russian Army dark green scheme while those on parade may be seen with more added detail. The BM-27's payload of 16 by 220 mm rockets allow for various warheads to be utilized to suit mission needs. This includes the High Explosive Fragmentation HEFRAG, tipped version which is the standard rocket available. A chemical weapons version has also been developed to deliver lethal doses consistent with NBC payloads. One of the more unique forms of 220mm rocket is the mine-scattering submunition version, which sprays a target area with electrically timed detonating mines for truly disastrous results. Each of the massive 220mm rockets measure in at 15.8 feet in length and weigh nearly 800 pounds. BM-27s have seen combat actions since their inception, beginning with the bloody Soviet occupation of Afghanistan from 1979 to 1989. Perhaps as many as 18 BM-27s were captured and eventually reused by Afghan forces though their current state is thought to be mostly of disrepair. This was then followed by engagements during the First and Second Chechen Wars of 1994 to 1996, and 1999 to 2000 respectively. Most recently, the BM-27 was seen in action against Georgian forces in the 2008 South Ossetia War where her long-range prowess was put to good use. The Soviet Union of Russia has been, by far, the largest operator of the BM-27 series, fielding as many as 800 at peak usage. Kazakhstan holds approximately 180 in inventory while Ukraine has managed no fewer than 140. Belarus operates up to 84 examples. Other operators have included, or may continue to include, Guinea, Iran, Moldova, Myanmar, North Korea, Tajikistan, Tanzania, 
Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, and Yemen. The Iranian and North Korean totals are unknown, 